Mobile Geek's coverage of MWC15 is powered by Asus. Let's chip you at the Intel booth at Mobile World Congress 2015, taking a look at Truki by Intel Security, formerly known as McAfee. This is a really interesting app, actually, and something I've been writing about is the is improving the login authentication and access to longer passwords and securing the access to longer passwords. And TrueKey True does that by using multiple authentication me methods that you can define. Now we're going to have a demo here. Alex is going to do a, a demo for us. It's going to use standard webcam for facial recognition. And then we're going to do a second stage authentication via an app on a smartphone. So two stage authentication with facial recognition. So here's Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi. And uh, if you could talk us through that demo, that'd be great. Great. Okay. So what I'm going to start doing first. So cool. wait. Let me just let me just put that on you here, and then Can you start over. We'll be able to hear you. No, carry on. It's okay. Great. So I'm going to log in to my trusted device. This is registered with my TrueKey account using my face here and it's actually not a static photo of me. It's really me and it's actually checking for that. And once this little light up here goes off, sorry I might be talking too much here. Alright, there we go. So the light went off and now it's actually sending me on my other trusted device which is also registered with my TrueKey account. It wants me to authenticate by swiping right. And there we go. So now I'm logged into my PC here. And just with a click of a button, I can actually log into my Facebook account. Just like that. So, so the app there is actually holding the passwords for the apps and then pre-filling those into the, the yes. form fields, right? It, it pre-fills and form fills. And, the, and those uh, passwords are held in the cloud or on the local device? Cloud. They're Encrypted in, in the cloud. Great, okay. So we can use different uh, types of uh, authentication mechanisms. So we used a camera there. What other options do we have? So we, what we can do is go over here to manage my profile. And there's different, you can set the levels of how many factors you want to use. And so in this case, you can use trusted devices. You can use a master password. Trusted email, face unlock, and swipe for Android. So there's a list of the, the trusted uh, sources of authentication. At the moment, we got, we've chosen two of those. We've got the webcam, and we've got the second stage via the phone swipe. But for example, if you had a real sense camera up there, you'd not only get facial and facial movement recognition, but you'd get 3D depth information in that signature as well. So obviously fingerprint readers and that sort of stuff can be hooked into this app. So it looks pretty flexible to me. What other features have we got in the app then? Okay, so one of my particular favorites is the password generator. Every website has different requirements, lengths, uh, whether or not you can use special characters or if you have to use cap capitals and things like that or include a number. And so what you can do is let's say you're signing up for a new service and you need to generate a password and they say, well, it needs to be eight or more. So, okay, we'll just leave it at 18 because that the longer it is, the more complex it is, the safer it is. And they don't want us to use special characters, so we'll turn that off and it generates the password for you. It then populates it right here. And so you can actually just click this button right here and it copies it for you. And then you can go back to your website, create your username, and then that, there you've got your password. And would you be able to store that password then directly in the app exactly. and label it? Yep. Yes, and so when you've got TrueKey enabled as an add-on in your browser, you see this little TrueKey identifier there. Uh, when you're creating your new account, it'll actually pick up that and it'll say, Where, "Do you want to save this?" And you can you can choose not to, but why would you? Because yeah. it's the whole point of removing the hassle and the frustration, making it frictionless. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like when you generate those uh, strong passwords, the last thing you want to do is have to sort of write them down. And store them somewhere else, right? You just yeah, want to you want that to be copied insane. straight into the cloud into a secure locker. So another thing I can show you actually is the wallet feature. And so we, you can store addresses, credit card information, your driver's license or any memberships, uh, your passport and your social security number. And so the different form fills that you would need. Have you ever been somewhere and you needed to access, let's say, uh, a membership card, but you didn't have it on you, wouldn't it be great if you could store it somewhere safely and be able to access it 
and only you could access it. It's encrypted in the cloud. So can I store, for example, images in here and PDFs and that sort of stuff, or is it just textual information? Just textual information. Uh, we do, uh, Intel Security does offer file protect and uh, encryption software, but those are currently not part of the true key uh, product. The other really cool feature is safe notes. And so here you can actually, let's say you're in a business meeting and you don't have a, a pad of paper and you really want to take down some notes and make sure that they're encrypted, uh, just title it and go ahead and create your notes here, changing the colors and things like that. So that's a quick demo of TrueKey from Intel Security here at Mobile World Congress 2015. I think a really interesting app just solves that problem of, of creating long passwords, storing them securely, uh, and of course the locker, the second stage authentication, which I think is really critical now for, for certainly uh, consumer Windows devices. My name's Chibi, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Mobile Geek's coverage of MWC15 is powered by Asus.